Hello, welcome to Art Rant, and today I'm going to tell you what makes a painting contemporary. Okay, fine, art is subjective and this and that, but when I was studying painting in undergrad, I saw a clear divide between the studio artists that were studying in the atelier, that were painting like a fruit still lives, like nudes and landscapes, and the people that were actually showing. The artists that I was actually inspired by, there was a clear divide between the two. And to be honest, it took me going to grad school to actually understand what makes someone a contemporary painter. Because okay, we study at an atelier, there are amazing painters out there, but are they really contemporary painters? Or are they just skilled craftsmen, as insulting as that sounds? And after taking some time after grad school to really think about what is painting? What is contemporary painting? I came up with my own checklist that your paintings must have in order to be contemporary. And basically my contemporary art checklist consists of three things. Number one, you have to use contemporary materials. Do not romanticize the past. Like we all love the artists that are at the Met. How can you not? But you like those artists because they were innovative for their own time. So you don't have to copy their same earth palette. Like, it's okay to use photography. You don't have to, like, please do not be sitting there gritting out your work thinking that it's so sincere and this is how painting is done. If that helps your work, then use it. That is what makes contemporary painting and any kind of contemporary art contemporary. It's because you are in the present time. You are using materials that are used now, that are new. You're innovative. So use contemporary pigments, use photography, use video, whatever technology there is. It's okay to use Photoshop in your painting. Your painting is still going to be a painting. So the number one thing that's going to make your painting contemporary is using contemporary materials and technology. Number two, paint about whatever is going on around you now. Use that in your painting. Integrate that in there. Do not romanticize Delacroix and it's like he's one of my favorite painters I love him but am I going to paint like him now no that's irrelevant so focus on having knowledge of the contemporary history like whatever is going on in the world actually read the news it's painting and world history are connected they are not these two separate things it's fine art and it's beautiful and amazing and history is here and whatever no the two are very very connected so be up to date on current events. What is important to people that are alive now? What are the current issues? What are the topics? What's going on worldwide? Be like a, a well-read person. Think of the paintings that you are making as a, as a diary that's documenting the current time. What is the kind of zeitgeist of the world at this moment? Because that is one of the reasons why we look at historical art and historical painting is because the artists really documented their life around them. It was not so micro, like it's just about the artist and whatever is going on with them. They were also thinking about the macro, like the world, the, the people around them, the geography, the political climate, whatever was happening around them. They included that in their painting and it is that specific detail that makes their work so like captivating and it almost makes you want to lust after a time that is not here anymore because they documented it so well so think of your painting as like a diary that is depicting a present time because this present time may not be around longer and number three and this is probably most important you have to paint about your life and your experience okay we all love artists of the past but do not copy them there's only one Delacroix there's only one Frida Kahlo you do not copy other people your paintings are about your own life they are your diary and it's kind of like a really vulnerable place to be like you're really showing people what your life is like but paint about what you know yourself that is what makes Painting is really genuine. And I hear so many artists say, well, you know, I don't have a lot going on. Like, I'm just working at home. My life's not really that exciting. I want something, something like visually stimulating to paint about. I want something, some other thing. No, you paint about whatever is around you, whatever your life is. Think of your paintings as your visual diary. Whatever it is around you, it doesn't matter. Even if you think it's boring, even if you want some something other no you paint about what is around you because think of artists like edward hopper 
like I'm sure he thought like damn I'm just like out in the country and it's this boring light no but he painted it in a way that was really sincere and that said a lot about him and how he saw the world that was around him in his paintings and it is that ability of the artist to document their own life that makes their paintings stand out so don't copy the other and thinking that in that way you're gonna paint something exciting you're basically thinking about it backwards paint whatever is around you whatever you know well and because it is so personal that in itself will be intriguing and exciting to people and even after all that some artists will say well you know my visuals are just not that exciting okay the visual itself may be boring or whatever at that point it is your responsibility as a painter to paint it in an exciting way so think of paint not as a way to copy a photograph because that's going to be boring even if you paint the most exciting subject matter ever think of paint in a material way like how can you actually depict what you are feeling and what you are seeing on a material level like how do you capture that experience in a sensory way how do you paint whatever is around you in a way that's going to make other people feel what you are actually feeling in your day-to-day -day life and basically to make a long story short that is all you have to do to make contemporary paintings use contemporary materials and technology paint current events and stuff that is around you right now and three paint things that are personal to you and this will be more fun for you as an artist to document your life and to document your own personal experience to think of your paintings as a visual diary and paint about personal stuff even if you think it's not exciting you can save it by painting it in an exciting visual kind of material way and basically that's it contemporary art contemporary painting is really simple once you do these three things just don't overthink it that's it if you follow these three simple rules it will be physically impossible for you not to make contemporary paintings that will be really genuine and people will be excited to see your work they will not look dated they will look like they are of the time and people overthink contemporary art so much like what is it and how do you make it that's it it's really really simple that's all